Good morning, guys. Another beautiful day here in Bahal. Today we're actually on our way to the city. Not just a small city this time over here, but the big city three hours away called Tag Balaran. We were invited there actually for a birthday party from an old friend. So we're going to, uh, we're actually going to rent a car this time. Well, it's not a car, a vehicle this time. So we're on our way right now. We can't wait to show you what kind of vehicle we're renting. So Zarina, my beautiful girlfriend's all dressed up. <laughs> Still sandals, always sandals. All right, it's nice and sunny, so hoping for a nice drive. If you guys, you know the you know the mantra where we gotta walk, so we'll get back to you when we get down there. Peace. All right, we're here at our destination, and uh, we've got our vehicle for today. They call this a uh, multi cab. Oh, it's uh, like a mini pickup truck. Quite cool, actually. Uh, a little s small for me, cause I'm a little bigger. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to use her today. She's been good every other time. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. space here uh, it's not our multi-cab uh, we, we rent it out so basically we, you have a few choices here you can rent out a nice SUV for around 2,000 pesos or 50 bucks it's nice right the rides comfy you can go a little cheaper and get like a car sedan for around like a thousand pesos so around $30 Canadian 25 30 Canadian or uh, you can choose this so around uh, thirteen dollars Canadian or five hundred pesos for the day. So that's what we choose. We choose uh, price over comfort. Get something uh, a little cheap, but we can fit all our stuff in the back. We've got cool speakers up here. We can blast some beats. All right. Well, see you guys a little later. About an hour in, we're in the town of uh, Garcia Hernandez. Multi cab is still in good condition. We stopped to get a little snack at this uh, little restaurant here. Whew. Hot and sunny day. Let's so go see what they've got in here. Hey, puppy. What's his name? No name. <laughs> Come on. No. No. Ah. Hello. All right. 
nice little restaurant here. Same kind of idea. Just pick what you'd like. You sit down. Oh, some, what do you have there? They got some squid. Squid? Oh my goodness, for breakfast. All right. They actually have a beautiful back here. Uh, the backyard faces uh, rice fields. It's pretty sweet back there. I just see the tart, but. Is it okay if I walk down here? Oh, it's, oh, it's okay. okay. Yeah, right here. Nice. Nice backyard. All right. We're gonna enjoy our little breakfast. And we'll be back on the road. Peace. Ooh, all right, just had that filling breakfast. Oh, good to go. Oh, we have a friend, Mr. Goat. Ah, uh, all right. Well, we're like I said, we're in the town of Garcia Hernandez. Uh, this is a also a cool little spot. We like to just go and have a have a sit, maybe some water. Whew. Right along the highway, so you gotta watch out. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Actually, all along uh, this highway, the whole way actually from Anda, where we're living, to Tiglaren, about three hours away, 100 some odd kilometers. It's all coastal like this. It's a complete coastal drive around the island. And they have like little dugouts like this, little places you can sit, have a bite to eat. Uh, they have bathrooms along the way as well. So yeah, it's an awesome drive. All right, we saw the goats earlier, and uh, they're so cute. I'm gonna go see if I can pet them, or pet one. <laughs> goats, just on the side of the highway. <laughs> Come on. Mm, nice. You guys are cute. Brother and sister, two brothers. All right, guys, what's up? We just got to our destination. Uh, we are here. We decided to spend the night instead of driving back and then coming back to tomorrow for the party. So we're gonna spend the night there at this little spot. It's a local resort here in Dawis Bahal. Multi-cab made it we made it no problem like little gardens and these are the little spots you could rent they're all along here pretty cool they run you a little under 50 a night 50 canadian a night uh once we check in there we'll do a more thorough of a tour. They got a uh, nice bar, pool, everything on site here. They're open for business, so whenever you guys wanna come by and check it out. <clears throat> they're not beachfront, but uh, they're within like 10 minutes from the beach. All right, let's go check out the bar. Serena's having a beer at the bar. Serena, how's your beer? Enjoying your beer? Cheers. All right. Nice, cool little tables here, actually. This is actually all, ah, it's all cement. Painted it to make like, to look like wood. Uh, nice little landscape around here. And it's the uh, 
owner's headquarters out this way. Rene, it's part owners here. We've got a uh, nice bar we'll check out. We've got a bunch of uh, foreign drinks. Nice cold drinks. All right, guys, so do you a little tour of the room here. So I was wrong actually too with the the prices of these spots. They're not uh, 2,000 pesos a night, they're 1,000 a night. So uh, about uh, $20 Canadian, 25 Canadian. So basic room, bed, van, <laughs> TV, oh, the blinds. Nice little view out here. Simple bathroom, toilet, sink, shower, air conditioner, very important. So yeah, we just changed, getting ready for the party here. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be a little wild. There's gonna be a lot of drinking going on. So uh, excuse me and if I slur over my words and, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna enjoy. We'll take a little video of that there later when the guests show up. Good evening, guys. So we're all at the party here. They're setting up. Uh, <laughs> they're setting up the birthday boys uh, venue here. Got some nice flowers. Tables are set up pretty cool. Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my hello guys. <laughs> Welcome to Bohol. Oh yeah. Here in Bingag, Tawes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> How do I say in Bisaya? Unsa Imong Alan. Ako ngalan is Tita Tubio. Tita Tubio. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ako uh, Chris. Chris. Yes. How about your wife? Uh, Zarina. 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 Yes. Zarina from from. Uh, she's from um, actually uh, Luzon, Luzon in in, in uh, Kauaian, Isabella. Oh, Ilocan. Yeah. Well, Ilocano. It's an Ilocano. Ilocano. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> Isabella. Yes, Isabella. Oh, that's yes. it. I know. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Nice and cold there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of you know maybe the significance of the boat, uh, those that don't. Um, I lived on a boat that was sort of like that, or more like the one in the picture, for nine years in Hong Kong. It was my home. Uh, and while I was living on that boat, I met my dear wife, who promptly told me she's not going to live on a boat, so I sold it. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but it was the smartest thing I did. Boats decrease in value. The money from the boat, I bought an apartment in Hong Kong that tripled in value. 
I sold that apartment and built the two houses here. <coughs> so, you know, not so bad. But uh, again, <laughs> thanks very much uh, for coming along and uh, have, a, have a good time. Now, one thing that, you know, I, I, I'm a great fan of quizzes. People that know me know quizzes. So we're going to have a quiz after this. Oh, and it's a simple please. quiz. Yeah. And there's rules, of, the rules as well. So it's seven questions, one representing every 10 years that I've been on the planet. And every question is linked to 1952, the year I was born. But it's not, it's not as quite as complicated as that because it's multiple choice. One, two, three. All right? So the, the quiz will be read out by Stuart. Uh, the person who says the first right prize, the first answer gets a prize. Shall. Shall. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Louder, how loud do you want it? Here we go. Question number one. Where was Princess Elizabeth when she learned of the death of her husband? Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. Toilet. Sorry? <laughs> was it Windsor Castle, Sandringham, or Treetops? Treetops. Alan, first Alan. one I heard. Alan gets a prize. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's a good one. Oh, we're not Congratulations. Hey guys, so we had an awesome time at the party last night. You get a lot of drinks and food. And we stayed up late. It was a good treat. We slept like a king and queen because of our